Hello and welcome. My name is Natalia and I'm a second year PhD student at the University of Toronto in Dr. Morgan Varence's Memory and Perception Lab. Today I'll be talking about the relationship between learning strategies, spatial memory, and aging. So first of all, what do I mean by learning strategies? In this experiment, we compared errorless learning with trial and error learning. In traditional episodic word pair memory tasks, Participants in an errorless learning condition are provided with a cue, such as flower, and the correct answer to that cue, here the word tulip. In a trial and error learning condition, participants must generate a guess for each cue word provided at encoding. They are then given feedback with the correct response. After learning a list of these word pairs, in both conditions, participants are typically tested on their recall for the target word in each pair. Usually, healthy older adults benefit from the errorless learning, which prevents them from making mistakes during encoding that might interfere with the learning of the correct target word. Conversely, this means that mistakes made during trial and error are detrimental to memory in older adulthood. Now, another effect of aging is selective changes to spatial memory. Among other aspects, that spatial memory for precise object locations declines with age. However, what seems to remain largely intact is memory for broad associations between objects and scenes. In other words, remembering that a flashlight was found in the bedroom is not impacted by healthy aging, while remembering where in the bedroom that flashlight was, was found is affected by aging. The application of learning strategies to the spatial memory domain in aging has been rather limited to date, with previous studies largely relying on object scene association tasks, not precision memory for object locations. We were interested in investigating how these two learning strategies, errorless and trial and error learning, support or impact precision memory for object locations in aging. Additionally, we wanted to leverage this rich precision recall data to explore how successful recall of object scene associations affects precision memory for object locations. To do so, we conducted an online memory task via Gorilla collected on MTurk. Participants were assigned to the errorless learning condition or the trial and error condition. In the errorless learning condition, participants learned 42 object scene pairs in seven blocks and learned the object location in each trial by clicking on the object embedded within this scene. Critically, the participants in this condition saw the correct location during the entire trial. Participants assigned to the trial and error learning condition also learned 42 object scene pairs across seven blocks, but first had to make a guess as to the target object's location within the scene by clicking within the scene image. We leveraged a function in Gorilla to be able to have participants click in the scene to paint where they thought the object was. After they had made their response, participants in the trial and error condition were then shown the correct location by being given feedback for each trial. Following each learning block, participants completed a recall phase. Here, we would ask participants which object they learned with this scene that was shown. Three objects were provided as options. The old correct object, a lore object from a different trial in that same learning block, and a completely new item. After selecting an object, participants had to click within the scene to make their response as to the object's location from where they learned it. If they were unsure, participants were told to make their best guess. So first I want to draw your attention to the figure on the top right panel. In response to our first question as to how learning strategies support precision memory and aging, we actually found the opposite of what we pr would predict based on previous verbal learning findings. Specifically, in trials where, uh, where the object association was correctly recalled, we used Euclidean distance from the correct object location at learning to the participant's response at recall and found that the mean error was significantly lower for younger adult participants in the errorless learning condition. 
However, we did not find any significant difference in precision memory accuracy for older adults between the errorless condition, shown in pink, and the trial and error condition, shown in blue. Now, what about uh, successful recall for object scene associations? How did this affect subsequent precision memory for object locations? Correct object scene association a recall predicted higher accuracy for object location memory in both younger and older adults. Mean error, again in Euclidean distance from the correct object location to the participant's response, was greatest, meaning that participants performed the worst, for older adults if they had incorrectly selected the object associated with the scene just prior. Overall, our findings suggest that in the spatial memory domain, errorless learning does not produce a benefit for older adults, but precision memory is more accurate in older adulthood if scene association memory is preserved. Perhaps most excitingly, older adults' average precision accuracy for object locations when they correctly recalled the object association was better than younger adults when they incorrectly recalled the object association pair. In short, these findings highlight that healthy older adults, at least in our sample, seem to be performing fairly well in object location precision memory relative to younger counterparts, but do not benefit from a particular learning strategy at encoding. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope to have a chance to chat or to answer any follow-up questions you may have.